bags, small bags, colored bags. These handy carrying aids make life a lot easier, particularly during shopping. Generally, plastic bags are used even though they have a reputation of being bad for the environment. However, this is not actually the case. Not all types of plastics are the same. There are also more environmentally aware plastic materials available. The customer's demand for alternative green packaging materials has grown significantly during the last few years. And to help protect the environment, Papier Mettler has developed pioneering production methods. The company, based in Moorbach, Germany, has already been recycling plastic waste for decades. They take used film from old packaging from which they can manufacture new carrier bags out of the recycled material. As the leading manufacturer of service packaging in Europe, Papier Mettler is focusing on sustainable packaging solutions. Its favorite, due to the especially resource-saving way they are produced, is the EcoLoop carrier bag. The CO2 balance of an EcoLoop carrier bag is compared to other carrier bags, very positive. The EcoLoop carrier bag can be easily identified by the Blue Angel symbol, the seal of quality for products which are particularly environmentally aware. Plastic bags for leading international corporations are produced in this family-owned company's state-of-the-art production facilities. Papier Mettler doesn't just stop at recycling their customers' old packaging. They also process their own production waste generated during the manufacture of carrier bags, films and other plastics. Their ability to accept and recycle dirty film is particularly innovative. This is a highly organized recycling loop which benefits the environment. Plastic waste originating from warehouses and supermarkets is regularly collected by Papier Mettler and is then delivered back to the recycling plant. It is the most advanced plant of its kind and has only been in operation since the beginning of 2012. It is here that the recycling process starts, with the bales of waste initially being stored for future preparation. At this point, the actual recycling process can begin. The plastic waste is sent through a shredder and it is then transported by conveyor belt to the wash tunnel where the plastic shreds are thoroughly washed to remove all dirt. But what happens to the waste water? Naturally, it is not simply pumped into the sewer system. The plant is equipped with its own water processing unit. And this way, even the water is recycled to wash old film. High temperatures inside high-performance ovens melt the cleaned waste, which is then pressed through a finely meshed extruder head. The rough plastic shreds are then turned into granulate. After being cooled in cold water and then dried, the tiny granules are stored in silos. Only after an intensive quality inspection, the high-value raw material is released for further processing. The granulate can then be turned into new film for packaging and carrier bags. This machine heats the granules up and blows the melted plastic upwards to a height of several floor levels, so that the hot plastic can cool down. On arriving at the top of the extruder, the tube of film is laid flat and spooled onto a reel back down at floor level. In the last phase of production, the plastic film is converted. This means that the print design is applied onto the film which is then cut to size. And the plastic is converted into the end product. And that is that. The environmentally friendly EcoLoop carrier bag made of recycled plastic is ready and will now be offered to customers. A study by the Institute of Disposal and Environmental Technology in Heidelberg proves that recycling carrier bags produces up to 40% fewer CO2 emissions when compared with those created from virgin material. And here is another advantage. The consumption of fossil fuels is drastically reduced. Recycled plastic uses 80% less. As these carrier bags are therefore especially environmentally friendly, 
This is why they were accredited with the Blue Angel label. As was said earlier, not all plastics are the same.